The feline tongue is the cleanup crew and cat's groom almost an endless number of times during a 24-hour period. However, could frequent licking in an effort to stay clean potentially pose a threat of danger? In this material, I'll talk about the possible threat of sickness and disease from grooming, and if your cat's licking could be dangerous. Whatever hits the tongue has the possibility of injuring the body, and that, under the very wrong circumstances, could present a major problem. When grooming goes wrong, I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Cats look and groom for many reasons, and quite obviously, licking to stay clean is right at the top of the list. Cats lick to remove dirt and debris, and to return their fur to top quality, both in terms of health and visual appearance. One of the most outward ways that you can tell if a cat is sick or suffering is by simply taking a quick look at them with respect to overall appearance. Felines that are unkempt, that's rarely ever by choice. Healthy cats will never purposely allow their fur to go unattended and become dirty and matted. Having said all of that, grooming can have a downside. When the mouth is used for the heavy lifting, aside from your personal care or the care of a professional groomer, sickness could occur. And while the overall odds are rather slim, thankfully, it can happen, especially if your cat comes in contact with some type of chemical or is already dealing with an existing infection of the skin. One of the primary examples is, as mentioned, some type of chemical substance. And this can be just about anything. It can also occur both indoors and outdoors. As an example, motor oil. That always comes to mind. If your cat is allowed to roam outside for a few hours each day, your cat's fur could come in contact with motor oil. Resting under a parked car, that can be a problem for many reasons. Even if your cat hits the pause button on their very own curiosity, relaxing under a vehicle can place your pet at a risk of coming in contact with a puddle of motor oil, and once it gets on the fur and your cat starts to groom, there could be an issue. Of course, coming in contact with motor oil and similar substances, this isn't just connected to the outdoor world. If your cat is allowed to roam your garage, there could be a whole host of toxins at play. Motor oil, bug spray, weed killer, ant killer, paint. The list is almost endless, as the garage is often the primary area where these products and substances are stored. Whether we're talking about loose lids and caps, a spill, or just a dirty garage floor, if your cat rubs up against chemicals or walks on a hazardous garage floor, the next grooming session will likely find your cat licking dangerous materials. This is why it's critical to do everything within your power to shield your cat from harmful and rather obvious chemicals. Because while there's no way to ever truly protect your cat from everything, especially what they encounter outdoors, make it a priority to secure the materials in your garage, and unless necessary, keep that area of the home off limits to your cat. And while toxins of all types, that's pretty much a given when it comes to the lick of the fur and the trouble that could cause and the trouble it could occur, it's important to realize that your cat's very own body could also promote sickness. If your cat's fur and skin is excessively dirty and plagued with bacteria, an infection could happen, and the licking of the skin could potentially introduce sickness. Another aspect of this topic involves licking and grooming that promotes illness, as in the act itself can cause harm to the body. This is outside of grooming that leads to the ingestion of chemicals or other dangerous substances. For example, aggressive grooming. Grooming that is caused by stress and anxiety could cause harm to your cat's body. And if the skin is groomed raw, where large chunks of fur have been removed, the skin could be damaged and become infected. In this case, licking, aggressive licking, and grooming could make your cat sick. Be mindful of large bald spots, red and raw skin, and skin that appears scraped and bloody. If you see this, please seek professional medical care for your cat as soon as possible, as the development of a bacterial infection is possible if the skin becomes compromised. This is especially true if your cat is of senior status or has a compromised immune system due to other health issues. Another way that licking and grooming can prove harmful involves the occurrence of impacted anal glands. Swollen glands often produce a rather putrid odor, not to mention the overall irritation that can develop in that region of the body. Impacted glands, if they're not properly evacuated, 
can become infected and licking and grooming in this region while an infection is ongoing could make an existing problem that much worse please take your cat to the vet if you've noticed swelling of the glands and a foul odor if your cat is seeking relief through unusual methods as in scooting the rear across the floor this is a sign that your pet is attempting to eliminate the irritation to the audience of senior cat wellness i'll now turn things over to you has your cat ever fallen ill after licking harmful toxins while in the midst of a grooming session has grooming aggressive grooming that is ever led to significant skin irritation and infection if you had something that you'd like to add to the conversation by all means in the comment section as always it's all yours and before i close things out i'd like to ask everyone especially subscribers and returning guests would you like to see a series of videos dedicated to specific cat breeds what i mainly do here on the channel as most of you know is i answer questions questions of all sorts sometimes taking a deeper dive at previous questions however if you're interested i'd be more than happy to roll out a series just dedicated to breeds breed overviews if you will the history of certain breeds just general information this could be quite helpful and beneficial to those of you who are thinking about becoming an owner or simply for those who just want a bit of a history lesson so if you'd like a series concerning breeds just let me know i've already got something lined up right now that i'll be rolling out here quite soon uh, dealing with the bingle cat but i'm always in the mind to add more of a good thing uh, some cat history and some overviews if that does sound appealing please let me know in the comment section and if you enjoy this video this content right here and right now please like the video and subscribe to the channel i'd Certainly love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching. And as always, I will talk to you later.